about what you're probably missing in your manifestations. I used this myself. It worked really well. If you want tips and tricks for reducing stress, anxiety, overwhelm, and increasing happiness in your life, subscribe. I'm going to be bringing them every single week. The one thing that I found, even working with The Secret, I don't know if you are familiar with that, but it's a very popular book about manifesting. And they were missing this too. The one thing that's missing in visualization and manifestation techniques is the element of emotion and the importance of emotion. And not just that, starting and ending with emotion. Why? And when I say emotion, I mean the emotion you want to feel. Why? Because that's what you really want. When you're wanting to manifest a new car, let's say, you don't really want a Lamborghini. You want how that Lamborghini is going to make you feel, right? However that'll make you feel. It'll make you feel free or fast or proud or whatever it is. You want those because let's say you get a Lamborghini and it breaks down all the time. Well, then that's not what you want, is it? No. So start and end with those positive emotions and then add in the details that you want. Maybe you want that Lamborghini to be bright blue or bright yellow or whatever you want. it. That's up to you. And details I have no problem with, but start and end with the emotions. If you want a new job, how do you want to feel in that job every day? Do you want to feel respected? Do you want to feel admired? Do you want to feel fulfilled? However you want to feel, start and end with that. Do you want to feel relaxed and that it has a lot of ease to it? Many people are different, so you're going to want different things than someone else. I'm just tossing ideas out there because when you get into that job, that's what you'll want. And once you start with those emotions, then add in your details. And you can add in as many details as you want. Obviously, you can add in your pay and your vacation time and what your coworkers are like, all of these different things, what your office looks like, where your office is, how long your commute is, you get the picture. And then at the end, you end with the emotion, okay? But not only end with the emotion, use those emotions to feel as if it's already happened. So what I want you to do is imagine all of those details that you wrote down, all of those emotions that you just wrote down, and then feel them as if it's already happened. That's the key. That is the absolute key. Let's say you focus on this for five minutes a day. Two things will happen. One, you're going to get what you want or something better. And you can always add or something better in there because I think that's always a really good idea. Two, you're going to start building the positive, calm, and happy neural pathways in your brain. And I am all about the science of neuroplasticity and building a calm and happy brain. This technique not only gets you what you want, it builds you that brain that you want. Double whammy, amazing. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you for joining me today. If you're interested, I do have a program called The Calm Code. I talk to every single person before they enroll to make sure it's exactly what you're looking for and that I really do think that it will work for you. And I think that's important. Thank you for joining me today. And I will see you very, very soon.